was a great job, Junior. You really stuck up for yourself and for me. Yeah, but it's so hard. They seem so excited and happy. Well, I'm not. I'm upset. Oh, it's not so bad. Not so bad. The man is writing my wedding vows, Junior. Oh, I mean, it's just one day. It's the most important day of my life, Junior. My wedding day. Our wedding day. And it's being hyped. Well, what can I do, Vanessa? He's my father. You know what, Junior? Don't do anything. Including marrying me. Oh, come on. You don't mean that. OK, so now you're telling me what I mean and what I don't mean? Why don't you check with your father and ask him what I mean? You know, maybe he's right. Maybe the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Because if you can't stand up to your dad, you're not ready to marry anybody. Vanessa's very, very upset. Why? She feels this wedding has gotten out of hand. Well, <laughs> she's a woman. What do women know about weddings anyway? Look, she's just emotional. Look, once she sees those 16 dolphins rise out of the water and do that backward thing <laughs> and do like that, we actually trained one of them to say, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Gonna, congratulations? <laughs> wow. I mean, that's cool, but that's not the wedding Vanessa wants. So what? It's not the wedding I want either. Would you care to elaborate? I mean, what part of this Herculean effort that your mother and I are putting forth do you object to? All of it. Oh, that's it? All of it? Look, you and Mom are trying to impose your wedding dreams on us. And? And we want a simple ceremony where our love takes center stage, not talking dolphins and fireworks. Look, in good conscience, I can't let you get married the same way your mother and I did. Well, that's what we're going to do. And I hope you're there, but if you're not, we'll understand. Thank you, Dad. I hope to see you at the wedding. It's been 20 minutes, kids. I can't wait much longer. Junior, I don't think they're coming. Look, maybe they're stuck in traffic. Honey, let's face it. If our parents were coming, they'd be here by now. Yeah. All right, we're ready. Oh, goody. Here we go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't you need a witness? Dad, Mom! Mom, Dad! <laughs> you didn't think we'd miss this, did you? Sorry we're late. Calvin thought he knew a shortcut. Well, it was a shortcut to Jersey. Yeah, well, this is Connecticut. Well, you too. You look very familiar. We should. You buried us 20 years ago. Oh, that's right. You were wearing that enormous wedding dress. <laughs> and you had a full head of hair. <laughs> so did you. Touche. Toupee. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I want to apologize for your mother getting carried away and really taking this thing out of... Michael! OK, we both got carried away and tried to take over your wedding, and we're sorry. But mostly, we wanted to say that we wish you both the best and how happy we are for you and that we love you very much. Well, thank you. And we love you, too. OK, let's get this wedding underway. I have a funeral to perform this afternoon. The poor guy was supposed to be getting married today. At Lake Crystalline? 